Now, let's take a look at your users. So if I go over here to the All Users tab under People, I can see my users over here. And for each user that I click, let's say Deborah Fernandez, I can see the properties that I have set using either our API or our integrations and libraries, the properties that I have set for this specific user. So for Deborah, I have set her first name, her last name, her phone number, her email, and her address. I've also designated here that this is a person from our demo. So I can see this quite easily here. And if I click on Deborah, I can also see all the events that she has done. I'm also able to delete all the data on her with one click. And I can also do that on the previous page if the user requests you to do so. So that is quite powerful. I can set properties, but not only that, I can sort my users by those properties. So let's go ahead and say has email. So this should only show me users that have the property email set. And so I can see here that everybody has an email. What I can then do is I can create a new cohort and I can say user have, well, let's say users with emails, right? Let's say user has property email is set. So the person has an email. So I'm going to save that cohort. And now I can go over to cohorts and I can see users with emails. There are 34 users here, and these are these users. What cohorts allow you to do is group users together by something that they have in common. That thing could be where they came from. In other words, the website or the campaign that referred them to your website. It could be a certain property that they have set um, regarding their behavior, or in this case, for example, that they have emails so that I can more easily identify them or send them an email. So cohorts allow me to group these users together and then I can use that as a filter when I go over to insights or when I create my dashboards. So let's actually take a look at that. If I go over here to insights, this is gonna open up the page views. Let's, um, let's try the page views for the last 90 days. You see that there's a spike here because this is just demo data. And now let's say I want to add a filter by cohort. So let's see users with emails. How do they perform? So I can see specifically how that cohort performs, which is quite, quite useful. 